424. You are listening to Up to Speed on CBC Radio 1, 89.3 FM and 990 AM. Well, the big theaters in town are still a few weeks away from kicking off their seasons, but that doesn't mean there's nothing out there for live theater fans right now. A local indie company just opened not one, but two plays by a rising talent this weekend, and they're presented with a bit of a twist. Our theater reviewer, Josh Schmidt, saw both shows this weekend, and he's here to tell us how uh, well, how they were. Uh, good afternoon, Josh. Good afternoon, Ismaila. So why are these two plays a big deal for theater fans? Well, uh, because both of the who and the how uh, with these two plays. So we're talking here about two plays called Cock and Bull, and they're two short plays by a guy named Mike Bartlett, who I think most of us probably haven't heard of here yet, but he's a real rising star on the British theater seen. He's 33 years old. He already has an Olivier Award. He's one of these guys, but very little seen here in Canada. Um, This is actually the Canadian premiere for Bull. It's never been performed in Canada before. And as for Cock, it it just had its Canadian premiere just a few months ago. Uh, Toronto Company beat us to that by just a few months, but uh, really still quite new to Canadian audiences. So that's the who. And then as for the how, uh, what's interesting here is that Theatre by the River, which is the theatre company doing these two shows, is doing them in repertory style, which means they're doing the two plays on alternating nights, but with the same cast. So they have four actors doing both plays, same cast and crew. Uh, And I don't recall anybody doing repertory style here uh, with a full production of two plays in recent memory. So it really is a very ambitious thing to take on. Okay, so tell us a bit more about these two plays. Yeah, so I'll start with Cock, which is about a love triangle that forms between a man named John and then an unnamed man who is his partner and the unnamed woman that John leaves his partner for. So this is an interesting triangle. (laughs) Or, on the other hand, maybe he doesn't leave his original partner for this woman because John is hopelessly indecisive. And so he's kind of torn between these two who are sparring for his affection, sort of like uh, two hens uh, sparring over a cock, which I'm pretty sure is where the title of this play comes from. I can't think of any other meaning for it. (laughs) Uh, But it evolves into a very complex drama about sexual identity and personal identity and about love and about loyalty. So lots of stuff wrapped up in here. Uh, So that's the first one. And then Bull is a very different play of Cock is all about love. Bull is about just vicious nastiness. Uh, In this one, we've got three people, Thomas, Tony, and Isabel, who are all fighting for their jobs in a company. It's set post-recession. And they're waiting for the big boss to show up. And as they do, two of the people, Tony and Isabel, pick at the third one and his insecurities uh again sort of like like chickens pecking at someone uh in a really brutal but actually very darkly funny uh depiction of the sort of dog eat dog post-recession business world so two quite different plays so it sounds like a Pretty huge undertaking to do both of these plays at the same time with the same cast. Do they pull it off? Yeah, quite admirably. I think they do. Uh, very, very different styles. Uh, Cock is kind of a very fringy represent- uh, representational style. There are no props. There's no set. It's really all just stripped down to language and character. Um, and that works really well. I think uh, we see here that Mike Bartlett really is a very talented writer. He's witty. He's funny. Uh, the script is really engaging. And the interesting thing with that one is that it's quite easy to simultaneously root for and disdain all of the characters in this play. At various (laughs) points, you like all of them and dislike all of them sort of equally. So that's a real uh, feat of writing and I think of the performance as well. Uh, And and it's done at just a breathtaking breakneck speed. I was exhausted by the end. I can't imagine how the actors felt. It's quite short. It's 90 minutes long. Um, So really kind of a gallop. And then Bull is the much kind of colder, crueler play. Shorter too. It's only 55 minutes. But uh, although darker, also a lot funnier, I think in some ways as long as you like really dark humor so bottom line very different plays but i found both quite engaging would highly recommend both of them all right i know this isn't fair we only got about 30 seconds left but before you go uh, tell us a bit more about femfest yeah Fem-